everyone welcome to sweet tomato vine homestead i'm linda today we are doing a garden tour i am so excited to be able to bring a garden tour to you on september the 3rd 2024 because the garden is just gone through the dog days of summer well actually they're still going through the dog days of summer they're not over it we're still getting some 90 95s and for the next 14 days there's still some of those in our forecast so although the garden is still going through the dog days of summer, it is still being very productive. But we're going to start right here with the chicken coop. I'm going to show you the chickens because I am so excited about how well the chickens are doing. Right now, they don't realize it, but uh, they are working. They don't know that uh, while they are out here enjoying the free range, they are also chickens at work. And that's Kane back there, and he don't realize it, but he is working while he is scratching for worms and uh clearing out a lot of these weeds back here and i'm excited about it free range it works for them and it also works for me got hilda back here sitting down on the job but she is back here with blanche blanche is off of the nest right now i think that's blanche because she's looking pretty big so i don't see well, I don't see the other, I don't see Sophia, so I don't know. It's hard to tell Blanche and Sophia apart unless they are together because they look so much alike. But I think that that is Blanche. And that's Hilda sitting on the ground. She's enjoying the dust bath right now. Acting like she's about to lay an egg. But that was... Sophia, because there is Blanche. She's just coming down from the nest. She has been outside today, though. She came out, and she also came out in free range for a while, but yeah, she's not getting far from her nest. That's where she still has some eggs. Let's check while she's out and see how many eggs she has left. So if this is your first time to my channel, Blanche is our uh, broody hen and these are her eggs she has had three eggs to successfully hatch and so she has five more i don't know uh you know if they're how they're gonna do so we'll just stay until the last egg is finished and this is the fencing that caleb and i were working on in the previous video and i did not uh show you all the finished product project because really it's not finished because we still have to uh lift up the bottom and this fencing goes close to the bottom but this is going to have to be connected to the fencing that we already have up and as you can see these are some large zip ties so the other fencing was not as wide in um these squares was not as wide on the other fencing it's, it's much smaller i think this is like uh, i don't know how and I'm even going to try to estimate because I don't remember what I ordered. But I was trying to, my main thing was trying to get the, a, a longer height. But um, I ended up with a wider uh, square on the fencing. So we're going to need some smaller zip ties to zip tie the smaller fencing to this larger fencing. So that is what we are waiting on. We will pick up some of those today. But I think the fence turned out pretty good. Our main goal is to make sure that the chickens are safe in here. And as I told you, the other fencing had fell down because of the uh, vines that were on it. And we realized that those vines were honey vines and pepper vines. So we are very happy about our fence. The, the fact that it is uh, protecting our chicks. The chickens have been free ranging this morning and now that it is getting very hot out, they are back in the coop, but their chicken coop is well shaded because there are a lot of trees over the chicken coop. So they have a lot of shade and they always have a pool of water in the chicken coop that they can go and get a fresh drink of water and today i have uh, gathered up a lot of vegetables that are over ripe in the garden or some have dried up like the goji berries not only are they able to free range but they are getting 
some very good nutritious food that they can eat and that is going to make them be more happy more productive and have the most delicious eggs there are also some carrots in this food But they are very tiny. I can see that they are very small still, but I do want to try and I want to pull one just to show you how tiny they are. I got my foot all up in this bed. That's not too, that's not too small. It's going in my salad tonight. Those two. I think I'm probably going to need another one. Going back in, y'all. I'm not. I'm not gonna start harvesting, y'all. But I did want to just check on the size of these carrots. And so now, since I've checked on, I see that they're big enough to put it in my salad. Let's see, there's another. One. The other ones are very small. They right here has some eggplant in it and some Lizzie peppers and the eggplant have been getting chewed on, I think by the grasshoppers. I think they're the ones that's doing this damage. But there are some Lizzie peppers back here on the plant. There are Lizzie peppers back there and there are some tiny eggplant. And this is my Dollar Tree stack where that has the different medicinal herbs in it. And a lot of them right now are suffering from the heat. So I am still having to hand water it. Right here is a purple lilac bush and this is the Dollar Tree stacker with the culinary herbs and got some of them that are still looking good it got some lavender up here on the top and right here is some I think that one is the thyme let's make sure yeah that one's thyme and so yeah some of them are looking really good There's some rosemary some sage mint the other one was a chocolate mint. This is a orange mint and some basil. And this is my Jamaican sorrow and it is looking really good right now. We have a pepper plant right here. Has some peppers that I'm just gonna grab a cup off of. Them. I got a lot of peppers in the house, but I'm going to be cutting those up and putting them in some jars. I'm going to put some in the freezer, but I'm going to cut some up and put them in some jars because we like them on pizzas. This bed still has a tomato plant that is trying, and so we're going to leave it in to see what it can do at the end of this season. The pepper plants are still producing, so we're also going to leave them in. Right here is one of my blueberry plants. Still got the netting over it. This raised bed has a lot of sage in it and it has got to be harvested. It has to be harvested and put, it has to be harvested and dried. It's gonna to have to get dried really soon. And it also has some marshmallow in here. And marshmallow is also a medicinal herb. Right here is my goji berry. And this is a celestial fig, and it has some figs on the tree. Most of them are very tiny. Right here, I have some strawberries. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and harvest these. Right here, we have some more eggplant. Y'all, these little eggplants got sharp stickers on them. I got stuck twice out here on eggplant. Okay, more eggplants right here. 
Got some purple bell peppers right here. Right here is my moringa tree. Got some cherry tomatoes right here. Some red and white zinnias. This is a pomegranate and an olive tree. Right here we got some elephant ears. And here is a bed of pink zinnias. More cherry tomatoes. Right here is my turmeric. This is my watermelon patch. And there are still watermelons growing out here in the patch. There's a pink banana squash. An aloe vera plant. And this is a blood orange tree. More aloe vera. A dwarf arborvita. Red zinnias. A eucalyptus plant. I have a pink climbing rose right here. I have a gardenia bush right here. More zinnias. These are some zinnias that I thought were finished because they weren't getting any water, but I plugged the drip back into them and they started back to flowering. Sweet William. And this is another blood orange tree and it still has the one blood orange on the tree. It is holding on. This is the lemon tree that I started from seed. Right here is an azalea. And this new improved Meyer lemon is starting to flower again. This is my variegated lemon tree. Before the frost comes, I think that this tomato uh, bed is going to put off a lot of delicious fruit before the frost. Because the tomato plants are still looking vibrant. They look wonderful. Marvin planted this bed and it looks awesome. There's a big juicy tomato and I mean it's perfect. And there are some more in there that'll go good on my salad. Yeah, I've been putting food in my pocket because I didn't bring anything out to harvest me. Y'all right? see, look at all this. Look at these. I'm just gonna grab a few. That dropped one, but it wasn't right. I'm gonna put these, these going into my salad. I see some more down there. I'll get those when, when I finish. Y'all was scared I was going to forget, so I had to go get some more. These are my moringa trees that are ready to go out in the garden. I started to go ahead and plant them, but it has been so hot, I decided to wait until it cools down some, and then I'll put these moringa trees in the garden. And right here are our okra plants, and they are about seven feet tall right now. I'll harvest it in the morning. Now these are eggplant. And I'll give you all a glimpse of the weeping willow that we planted recently. It is still looking very good. The crepe myrtle trees are holding on to their flowers. I also wanted you to see how this chrysanthemum is holding up in the heat. I told you all that I was really finished with this east garden, but I just came to check it out and I see that it has still produced, but there are squash vine boards on this pumpkin. I'm gonna leave it out here overnight and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna check it because it is getting dark. This uh, garden tour started early this morning and we had an appointment, so it has gone throughout the day and now it is uh, getting dark out here. So I am going to uh, get ready to go in, but I will come back out and bring some diatomaceous earth with me tomorrow in case I can save this pumpkin. But if I cannot, then uh, I'm not gonna let the squash vine boards have it. Well, I'll come back out and check on it. So I hope that y'all have enjoyed the video today and that you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.